Hello, I'm back again. This time of my latest little creation I've been working on. It's a 10-way piston combination lock. The combination locks affect the two doors in there. If any of them are wrong, the doors close. Doesn't matter which ones they are, they just close. The reason for this is because of the circuitry. Uh, I'll start by showing you the two circuits. It's very simple. You've got two redstone torches over here with wires going straight across each one activates a different door. If any of these 10 pistons are activated, it will break one of the two circuits at some point um, without breaking the redstone, and that closes the doors. You can alter where, which way the particular switches work, so at the moment that's down to keep the doors open, like this one. If I turn this one off, the door closes. If I go inside and replace the repeater with a torch, the door is now closed, but if I turn it up, it opens. So, depending whether you stick a redstone torch or a redstone repeater, denotes whether it's up or down. And you can completely customise the combination and change it very simply and quickly. The wiring's not too hard either. As you can see, I'll just give you a quick overview of it if you wanted to copy this. You've got five pistons on the top, five pistons on the bottom to control the two circuits. You could merge these two together by extending it slightly. And if you wanted to increase the amount of um, switches and pistons used, you can extend it down and down and down pretty much as far as you like. All you'd have to do is just keep extending the circuit and using redstone repeaters to keep the electric going through all of the um, areas so you could have it a hundred switch lock if you really wanted to um, and yeah once you get the combination right you go up and woo the end I hope you've enjoyed it I've not seen this particular design on YouTube so thanks for watching and check out the next videos.